Okay. It, it says we're live. It's nice and grey out, so I've got my umbrella just in case. And I also have a pair of pants on. I'm not, no, not yet. It's damp out. Oh, I don't need to shut that one, do I? I just need to shut that one. Stephanie, honey, hello, sweetie. Sorry I'm late. I couldn't find my pants. I lost my pants. Great, honey. Oh, I'm so glad you are here. <clears throat> Brenda keeps asking me for the instructions and I keep telling her that you're more help than the instructions. Gray. So I'm, I'm still going to send her the instructions. See if she can figure them out. Jenny, honey. It's good to see you. Thank you for coming. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, my little step stool. So the battery's all charged up. I've got fresh batteries in this thing. Now, <clears throat> there is one question. Let me catch my breath a minute here. Bobbing up and down kind of gets me out of breath quite easily. I have one question. It says it takes a micro SD card. I would like to know how you're supposed to push a micro SD card in where in its back side can you see that post there that white slot there that white post there in there there's no way you can push an sd card in past that it goes all the way down to the bottom so if anybody knows what kind of a card this takes can you let me know because it's definitely not a micro sd card and to be honest with you, looking at it with a um, magnifying glass, Denise, I am so, I'm good, I'm, I'm really psyched. We're going to get it off the ground a little bit more today. Uh, no, nope, doesn't take a regular SD card. Uh, Steph, I tried that too, a regular SD card is way too big. It won't even go in the slot. So, um, and of course we all know the instructions are gibberish, and the instructions say micro SD card. I've got my umbrella in case it decides to rain on us. Oh. What is the name of the drone? Well, let me tell you. Um, it's a Max something or other and Stephanie there have been over a dozen people who have looked for this drone and can't find it thanks for the noise pollution anyway there's several people that have looked for this drone on the internet on YouTube and on other channel and they cannot find it so um, it's definitely a Chinese model and uh, Gray will will vouch for me that although the, um, the instructions are English not really English they um, they didn't translate them too well. It, it's all gibberish. I mean, it says something like when a novice um, flies blankets the sky. What the hell do you mean blanket the sky? I'm not going to put a blanket up in the sky. <clears throat> oh. Okay, so I haven't put the battery in yet. Ghost Mafia, yes! Oh, I'm getting all out of breath here. I'm so excited. Today is the day. We are going to have... Oh, my finger. 
We are going to have control over this drone. I swear. Okay, before we go anywhere. I'm wondering if I maybe shouldn't fly, try fly it because the, the grass is wet. It's got a lot of um, raindrop bubbles on it. We'll take a nice photo. So here, look. Let me show you. Let me show you. Oh, I need a bigger stool. Okay, I'm going to take the micro SD card out and hopefully... Oh, Mum's Life and Kids! Everybody, please check the Mum's Life and Kids out. They've got such cute videos. Please check each other out. Um, if there's anybody new in here that you haven't seen before, please welcome them with open arms into the community because... You're all beautiful souls, and I know that you'll, you'll just do that naturally anyway. And I should stop talking as I turn away from the camera and cars go by. Okay. So, look. Here's the camera's... Here's the camera's bottom. Okay. Here's a micro SD card. Okay, it won't go in because of that stupid post that's in the way. No matter how I try and finagle it, it won't go in because of that post that's in the way. Please don't tell me that I have to unscrew the, there's some tiny screws that hold the top and the bottom of the camera together. Please don't tell me I have to unscrew those tiny screws. Nope, tried that, Stephanie. Won't go. It, it won't go. It won't go. There's that white post in the way. It just won't go. It's, um... It's bloody annoying is what it is. <coughs> <coughs> I thought we might get some um, oh, some pictures, some video. So yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't take, I don't take a micro SD card. Although that's what it says in the instructions, and I did not bring the instructions out with me today because. Uh, <laughs> Denise says the drone has control over June. <laughs> I think so too. Oh my goodness. So I am um, going to forget about the SD card, but if anybody knows what to do, like I'll show you again, you can see inside there there's that white post. It goes from top to bottom, so there's no way you can get a card past it. And a micro SD card will not even go through through this side here. It it, it just no nope, won't go. So somehow I have a feeling I might have to undo those little tiny screws and take them apart. Um, Mum, I'm in, um, I'm in the, I'm in the, I'm in the USA now, I'm in Kansas. I, I clicked my ruby red slippers and I landed here in Kansas. I wish I hadn't have done now. The keeps blooming red. No, not really. As long as no tornadoes come over, I'll be fine. Okay, so I'm going to put this SD card away. And then we're going to see if we can try and get this baby up in the air. It's, there's no wind. The SD card is for the phone. 
<laughs> yep. And Grace says he couldn't get the SD card in. I mean, see, I've, I've seen people talking about an SD card inside the drone and getting their dr their the SD card out of their drone. And I'm thinking, oh, maybe I should get in touch with them, <clears throat> leave a comment on their videos and say, um, excuse me, how did you get the SD card in the arse end of your drone, please? Because mine won't go. Okay. Okay, there's no wind. So hopefully we'll have better luck than yesterday. Okay, let me go and put this where it's dry. Oh, well that was wet and cold. It really is soggy, my feet are sinking into the mud. Not really, but <laughs> it's good to have my my bare feet. Oh, I can't lift my feet that high. My bare feet outside in the wick. Again. Okay. Here goes. Go put the battery in. Well, we're going to try and get the battery in. There we go. There's no point in me plugging the camera in then, really, is there? Not that that takes up much, um... Oh, it's flashing! Yeah, it's flashing! Can you see it flashing? Okay. Alright. Well, I guess I'll plug the camera in anyway. Just so that it's not... Not... The thing that... Well, maybe I won't. Oh, come on now. Ten minutes is wasted trying to get the back shut on the darn thing. I'm telling you, those little tabs, they're going to get broken. They're going to break off. I know it. Oh, my goodness. Come on. difference if I don't plug the camera in I mean the camera's not gonna be on but at least it'll well that's gonna hang there anyway isn't it let me wrap that around see if I can there we go you, oh well maybe our best to Well, the thing is, Stephanie, I need to use the phone in order to see where the camera's going, and I'm using the phone to stream to you guys. So, yeah, I'll just try it for now. Oh. Oh, Denise, oh, it was 30 some years ago that I moved, honey. Yeah, the SD card is the phone. 
Yeah. Well, that's okay. All right. I'll move you guys over this way. Oops! Hang on a minute. You're going downhill there. Alright. Okay, let's see if we can get this show on the road, shall we? Okay, we're going to do the uh, stabilizer thingy. The uh, gyro, what do you call it? Oh my gosh! I'll have to remember next time that. Uh, um. Dang. I'll have to remember that next time 3 p.m. is rush hour around these parts. Okay, there we go. If it starts to wander, I'll go over. Okay, we got the lights to stop flashing. It's no longer flashing at me. Let me uh, straighten you up this side. I have a feeling it's gonna rain. Uh. No, don't get windy. Oh man, there's been no breeze all this time and now it starts to get windy. takeoff yesterday. Uh, we crashed it twice yesterday, once in my living room and once at the back of my house. Okay, Gray. Are we ready? All right, we're going to turn it on and hopefully it'll just hover. Why isn't it just hovering? I don't know if you can see it. Oh, you fell over. Um. Come back. No, come back. Oh. No, no, no. Keep falling over. Uh, okay. 
Okay. <laughs> Look at the cat, the cat's looking at it. <laughs> Just waiting for the cat to pounce on it. <laughs> oh no, don't go that way. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh, I've got my line all fucked up. Oh hell. Oh, it's going over the road. No, don't go that way. Okay, come on. No, come to Mama. Don't go that way. No! Can you see it? Oh, man. They actually, the camera is at the ass, ass end round. How do I make the thing go down? Keeps getting lower on its own, actually. Uh oh, here comes another car. Can, can, can you see it? I don't know if you can see it. Oh, great. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. It's these. It's right above the oh, it's, it's above the um pull pull the left lever down. Oh hang on a minute, it's over the the um the mailbox. Come on this way. Come on, no. No! Oh! Shall we do something funny like a fancy, fancy like a flip? Uh-oh, uh it's lights are flashing. You're supposed to come home when your lights start flashing, you fool. Come on. Come on, this way. Come to Mama. Come to Mama. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Now I see the problem, it's us and this way. We're going down, folks. We're going down. <laughs> Can you see it? No! Oh. <laughs> he crashed into the tripod. <laughs> but his lights are still flashing, so it's okay. Oh my god! Oh, I'm definitely.
we're going to buy some new cards, some new um, batteries, some spare batteries. Um, oh my gosh, I'm out of breath! <laughs> Join me. Oops. You're going to carry one puss there. Oh. oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. I did it. I did it. I did it. Oh. I'm, re I'm, re I'm right proper out of breath now. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy. Oh my goodness! Yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely gonna get um, some new batteries to go with it. Um, somebody did make a donation for me to get some new batteries, so um, oh my gosh, I'm out of breath. Mm. stopping in honey thank you all ever so much for sticking by me with this project yes I'm coming yes, yes. <laughs> oh my gosh see September is the month of we I can do this we're getting there folks we're getting there yeah we're getting there <laughs> oh my gosh I should have had my husband when he went to the store last night. I should have had him get some, um, see if they had a battery for the, like this one for the drone. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to get more batteries. See, with the lights flashing like that, it's not going to stabilize and it's not going to behave itself. We found that problem out yesterday. So, um, and I had a problem because it was going ass backwards. It was flying backwards. So I really had to figure out the controls. Good thing I'm dyslexic. That really did help in that situation. So next time when I set it off to fly, I'll set it off to fly with the camera facing me. Not that the camera is any good right now because we can't figure out about getting it well, I have a surprise coming and I'm not going to tell you all the surprise until, until it arrives. Um, so, just keep a watch out for an unboxing for a big box. It should be here within the next week or so for a bit from an unboxing of a a good box from the UK and I'm not, not going to tell you who it's from and I'm not going to tell you what's in it because I don't know everything that's in it but I know some things that are in it and they only told me because I was struggling and they let me know yes more surprises Ginny more surprises I'm so excited so um Oh my gosh! <laughs> so expect some more videos with the drone. Um, we shall do have some more fun with it. Uh, next week, I'll make sure that the oxygen company drops off some more tanks.
so that I can have some spare tanks and we'll take it out back into my back garden. There's a bit more space there and there's no worries of um, it going out into the road. <laughs> I was so afraid it'd end up in the road and, and then, well not afraid, I was a bit concerned that the uh, traffic would take it as they drove by the draft from the traffic. But yes, I did it, yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Everybody's looking at me like I'm nuts as they drive past. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The only thing is, it's a white one and I'm going to be forever trying to keep it clean. Yeah, you know, my OCD and all that kind of stuff, so, but, um, oh my gosh, I'm so, <laughs> I'm so excited. Ah, yes! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, yeah, into a car. There was actually a couple of trucks coming along and I was like, oh no! I'm going to have to name, change my name to Drone Girl. <laughs> good one, Ghost Mafia, good one. Maybe I may might make a second channel up. Um, check out my new drone. Um, I will check my messenger, Ginny. I will check it, honey. Thank you for letting me know. Actually, it was, it was, it did, it did drift into the road a time or two. And I could see a car coming and I was like, holy shit. And I was trying to bring it back and it kept going away. So I kept having to, and then, then my dyslexia kicked in and it's like, oh, wait a minute. It's ass backwards. Because it, instead of flying towards me, you know, with a, well, June, instead of flying towards me like this way, it was flying this way. So I had to quickly, you know, and, and, and luckily being dyslexia, I do things ass backwards anyway. So I figured that bit out. So next time I set it in flight, thank you ever so much for coming, uh, Stephanie. Thank you ever so much, honey. Lots of love to you, and I hope you have a better day. And either my eardrum just fluttered or something just flew by my eardrum. My ear. Something big. It sounded a bit like a... Uh... Look at this. The cat is now sitting on top of the car. Oh, it's having a clean. You don't want to see that. Yep, the cat's now sitting on top of the car. Thinks it's king of the castle. I actually half expected the cat to... Let me sit back a bit. I expected the cat to... Um, to uh, leap at the drone. Because it really was watching it intently. Ooh. So, yep, we shall keep having some fun with this. Anyway, I'm going to say I'm poop now. I'm ready to go back to bed. I don't know about everyone there, every all of you, but I'm really ready to go back to bed. It looks like it's going. Well, I'm not actually sure what it's going to do. It looks like this one huge cloud. Let me show you. See that? It looks like that all over the sky, wherever you look. Wherever you look. Oh, thank you, Mom. You're so sweet. Thank you. I guess that's a good thing. Right? <laughs> so, but, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. 
Now I'm going to have to learn how to how to mend these things and so did anybody figure out how long I had this thing flying in the air? Eventually I'll be going down the creek, taking a walk down the creek with the drone. Yeah right June. But um, soon I'll be able to, no, nobody did, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay, I was just, um, for about five minutes, yeah, that's what I was thinking too, Gray, thank you so much. This is so cool, this is so cool, and thank you, Gray, ever so much for all your help. Um, I'm still going to need some help, I'm sure. Because it really wasn't, um, well, it went up, I guess it was just that it was ass backwards. It was flying ass backwards because at first it was going right and then it was going left. But the thing is, it just, it didn't just hover. You know, I thought when it, when it hovered, it's supposed to stay in place, but it kept drifting. Now, uh, there are these little buttons here. On the sides that are supposed to um, fine-tune it so I guess that would stop the drifting I don't know I can't remember I can't read the instructions and I'm not exactly sure I know that clicking one of these well um, Oh, Mom, you're so sweet. I know clicking one of these, this will actually take it one level, but it has like, I want to say, underground railroad track stops on it. So when I have a bit more control of it, we have these other controls. Um... To learn because there's one here for speed and there's another one here for flip mode where it will actually flip in the air and I was gonna try and do that but then the light started flashing so I thought I'd better bring it home and it crashed um, maybe if I press that button a second time that'll make it land who knows Knowing my luck, it'll go off. And this is supposed to be the latest upgrade version. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. Well, the lights are still flashing. Should we see if it can take off a little bit more? Well, no, there's too many. There's too many. Well, if I have it facing me the right way when it takes off, should we see if it'll take off? Shall we? Well, the neighbour does have a nice truck. I don't think I'll try it there. be just nice if it would like hover oh I will mum I'll be careful I promise I'll be careful I promise yeah that's true Gray we found that out yesterday it, it didn't it didn't fly too well yesterday when the light started flashing it actually took off and it went around the corner of the house I had no control over it whatsoever and it crashed so, I shall just be happy with what I accomplished today. Yes, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> yes, I flew it. I flew it as backwards and I flew it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my.
my gosh. So if there are any drone companies out there that would like me to send a drone that I could, for me to test it. Unplug, isn't it better to drain the battery before you charge it again? Grey. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But yeah, if there's any drone companies out there that would like a novice to test their drones and give a review, I'll do it live. Yeah, yeah. Hello. In my wildest dreams, right? They only want the people that are professional in flying drones to um, to uh, do do the drone, you know, the review thing. So, oh, 13 people in the room. Can you please? I've only got seven likes, so. Go hit that like button for me, please. Especially as today was a victory. Yes! Look, I got Christmas tree lights. <sighs> um, okay, these lithium ion batteries, shouldn't they drain completely down before they're recharged? I've, I've turned, I've turned, I've turned this off. I turned this off. Thank you ever so much, Mom. Thank you so much, money. Um, my pants are wet. I wet my pants. No, I didn't actually. The grass is wet. Well, at least I washed my feet. <laughs> oh. How can it be bright and cloudy at the same time? It doesn't make sense, does it? Right, Gray. Yeah, I'm not too sure neither. So, um, that's something I I need to do. I need to um, look into. I'm a I'm a who I'm a who 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 who. I've forgotten. How does a cow go? <laughs> The owls around here screech. They go, and then they start with a whoop. Oh, it sounds awful. The dog goes nuts. She won't go outside when they're doing that noise. So, the neighbors are looking at me. Oh, thank you, Ginny. Thank you. It's good to laugh. It really is good to laugh. It's good medicine. Medicine? Medicine? It's good medicine. Um, gee, these lights flash forever before they wear the battery down, don't they? Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. <laughs> medicine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, medicine. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. But it says auto take off and auto landing. Well, I guess once I hit the button for the propellers to go around, it did take off on its own, but it really didn't land. So I'm having a, have a I uh, have a feeling that this button here will also bring it back down. So it's just going to be a learn by error. And uh, like I said, next week. Because apparently the next few days it's going to do nothing but rain. 
so I'm watching the birds I'm sorry I'm, I'm getting distracted <laughs> oh thank you mom thank you ever so much you are so sweet you are so kind thank you honey it's always good to um you know to to reach out of your comfort zone it's always good to you know take that step out of your comfort zone and and that way you experience more things and you meet more new you meet new people and uh, you find things that you probably didn't think you were interested in at one point but then you are interested in them so um, you know it really is it really is good to to stretch out and I'm glad that you found us too I'm glad that you found this community you're still trying I understand honey commander vlogs oh you're watching with no volume I, I can't can somebody type to commander vlogs for me is in a place of business yep Oh, thank can you somebody type to Commander Blogs? Commander Vlogs and tell him thank you ever so much. I'm sitting outside and I can't actually type. So that's the only thing with um top chat live chat. Oh my gosh. Live chat is what I want. Um, everybody please go support Commander Vlogs he's an, an amazing person that whole time Sherry V thank you ever so much so much love to you I'm sorry I've missed a lot of people's comments I just realized I was on top chat and not live chat this 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 um this thing this this new thing this new way they've set this app up is just absolutely horrible. Um, can you please let Commander Vlogs know that I say thank you for stopping in? Because I can't type to him and he's, he's watching the he's watching the chat with he's watching and he's watching the chat but he's no volume. So he can't hear me talking no matter how much I shout over the traffic. Could you let him know I flew the drone for five minutes? Please, somebody? Hmm? Look, I'm flying the drone. <laughs> Thank you, Ginny. Thank you so much. It's just I'm sitting outside and unfortunately when you are when you are streaming from your phone Thank you so much everybody thank you so much thank you for letting him know um, unfortunately with YouTube the way YouTube oh commander vlogs he's so sweet um, the way YouTube has it set up you can't you can't you can't join there's a butterfly come this way come no please Oh, okay. Oh, bye. Thank you for flying by. Anyway, um, the way YouTube has it set up that you 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 can't type. You can't type. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I do, Commander Vlogs, and that's what a lot of people don't understand. Um, you know, they they think if you care about people. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I have a little bit of ADD. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I'm so 
I get distracted quite easily. Oh, I will get into trouble so much in school. Oh, your mind wanders like that too, great, yeah. I will get into so much trouble in school. Oh my gosh. Well, I'll have to, um, I'll have to drop Commander Vlogs a, 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 a time stamp. Thank you, Ginny. Thank you. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm, you know, you really can't put, you know, these <laughs> really friendships and relationships should come naturally um, and you shouldn't expect a lot from friendships and relationships because if you expect a lot you get let down and you get disappointed and then when you get let down and you get disappointed you get hurt um, And sometimes when we are hurt, you know, we say things that we don't really mean, but it really, how can I put it, <clears throat> it really puts a, a barrier between you and the French, the, you know, the people that you are... <clears throat> Oh, Commander Vlogs. Bye. Hopefully he'll watch a little bit of the playback. Um, you know, it, it can put a wedge between you and, and the relationship or the friendship. And it can take a long time. You know, because sometimes trust can be broken. And it takes a long time for trust to come back and sometimes it never really comes back so it is um, sorry I didn't mean for this to be a life lesson but it's it's, um, it's unfortunate you know that's uh, part of life and, and, and no matter how you know I have a lot of love for everybody I have a lot of love for people um, but when I need time for myself when I go quiet, when I don't respond, when I don't do videos or when my videos are not as lively as they normally could be or are, I think. Um, that's usually an indication. I just need time for myself. You know, it's nothing personal. Oh, I'm sorry you had to learn that the hard way. Kate Shira, hi sweetie, it's so good to see you. I flew the drone. You see, look, it's lights are flashing now because the battery's wearing down. But I flew it, yes, for five whole minutes, yes. Um, <clears throat> that's okay. That's okay, mom. You go. You tend to your kids. Thank you ever so much for stopping by. It's always a pleasure to have you. Keep keep coming by. Make friends with everybody. They're wonderful souls. They really are. <clears throat> exactly, Ginny. We all need time to ourselves. And you know that I'm going to say this now. You know, if if that happens, and you don't get noticed, because my my I'm going to give my best friend. My lifelong friend, I'm going to give her, you know, permission to be able to post things on my YouTube when necessary. So, you will all get notified if I am very sick, you know, if, if I can't post things. Um, so, I, I don't want you all to worry if I, if I go quiet for a little bit. Um, you know, I, I do let you know if I'm if I'm having a rough time. Um, I might not post as many videos as, as normal, but you know, just trust and believe that I'll be okay if I go quiet. It's just 
I need a little bit of time for myself and I need to do some catch up too. Because sometimes I get behind on things like I have done lately, but that's okay because we're having fun as well. Yes! So my neighbors are <laughs> my, my, my neighbors are peeking out. <laughs> April! Hi sweetie, it's good to see you. Oh, thank you, honey. You are so kind. You're so sweet. I'm, I'm, I'm really blessed. I'm really blessed to have such beautiful souls. You know, through this journey with me, um, you might not be here with me physically. I'm sorry, I'm not. There's birds. <laughs> There's birds over the road. I keep watching. Um... <clears throat> Ginny says that she has a secret source of info about me. Yeah, you do. <laughs> oh dear me. And I'm 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 really blessed, you know, to have to know all of you. I love you too, April. I love all of you. You know, I really do. I'm really blessed to 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 be able to get to know all of you. Um as much as we can get to know each other. You know, over a media like this, um, be it Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, you know, however it is. Um, I'm sorry, I just noticed somebody's got a toilet. They've got a trailer backed right up against a toilet, I guess so that nobody could steal the toilet that's sitting in the driveway. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just get a little bit distracted. <clears throat> so, um, I'm, what, what, I'm, it, I might be posting short videos. Um, I'm not sure yet because I'm trying to, I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to edit the videos from the bathroom DIY from having to change the faucet the kitchen faucet maybe I thought maybe I thought well you know what though, I still think there's not that many squirrels out today I think I think they got a bit tired of getting wet and I think they're all holed up in the hole right now in their little nest um, because normally we, we have an awful lot of squirrels. That sounded like an owl. Woo. Woo. Sometimes they start this time of the day. But yeah, it's, it's, it's oddly quiet. There's some birds singing and there's some crickets and there's some frogs, but it's normally a lot louder than this there's normally a lot more of them carrying on so uh, could either be that they're all sick a bit and I'm getting the mosquitoes have come out it must be four o'clock or oh, they're enough to and I have my mosquito things oh god I've got pants on leave my legs alone jeepers honestly <coughs> That's okay, Mom. You go look after your kids. <gasps> Glute squeezes, Grace. I love you. Thank you for coming. Yeah, yeah, that's so true. That is so true. Gray, if you hear an owl, you won't see a squirrel. Yep, they'll all be hiding. They'll all be hiding. Yeah, they're not, they're not, they're not daft. They're really not daft. Take care, Mom. Get your kids back to sleep, honey, and and have some rest yourself. Uh, cause you certainly deserve it. Being a mom, being a parent is not easy. <gasps> oh, a cardinal. Sorry. That's a bright red bird. It flew over. Sherry B has stage four COPD. 
I am Miss Jill, for an inspiration to me every minute of the day, and I love you for the... Oh, Sherry V. Bless you, honey. Um... I'm going to... I think what I'm going to do is... How can I do this? Let me think, because just lately some of my bright ideas have not turned out to be such bright ideas. I think what I shall do is I shall, on the, in, the, in the comments after this video is uploaded, after this live stream is uploaded, in the comments I will pin a comment to the top. And within that comment will be two links. One link to a group on Facebook, which are the absolutely wonderful. The guy runs a um, the guy runs a uh, what the heck does he run? A respiratory rehab center, and he, he deals with a lot of COPD patients, and he is absolutely great. He is very interactive. He's very interactive with the site. Um, he does talk to people on the site. So if you have any questions, you can ask him. And I shall also post to his, put a link to his YouTube videos too. Because um, I've learned a lot from him as well. So um, it's, you know, it's a good place to be. So I think I might start doing that in my comments. I think I'm going to start pinning comments because I'm... Oh, you're so welcome. I love you too, Sherry V. I'm going to try and start because I'm finding it hard keeping up with all the comments. Um, I'm finding it hard to keep up with all my social medias. Um, and edit videos and, and reply to comments and so if you see a heart on your comment, you know that I have read the comment and trust me, I read every single one of them. And I think what I'm going to start doing is leaving a comment at the top and, and then pinning the comment and in there I shall leave links to certain um, places like the, uh, the respiratory rehab and the, uh, on Facebook and the YouTube. Um, channel there too. Um. Hello. Stick your head out the window a bit further, I would. You might fall out. I'm telling you, you see, as if in this day and age, it's so odd seeing somebody talking to a camera. Is that really so odd? It's crazy, it really is, it's crazy. Now this guy's drove him around three times. I think he wants to see. Laura Laverne. Yeah. Laverne, you were diagnosed with COPD and emphysema. But you haven't seen a specialist yet, you're in the early stages. Okay, yep. Laverne, that will be great for you too, honey. Um, let me tell you something. I know <laughs> you tell them. <laughs> um, it's not hot, hot. It's just muggy from all the, um, the moisture in the air. But there is one thing I will tell people, that exercise is important. Um, I know it's hard to get started with exercise and I'm not talking about jumping around and all this kind of stuff, all that kind of exercise because that can be too much. I mean, people with COPD know that anything that you have to do with putting your arms above your head 
taxes your lungs, it taxes your heart, it taxes your diaphragm, all the muscles that you need to breathe with, so it makes it harder to breathe and you get out of breath a lot easier. So if you have to do anything with your arms above your head, do it slowly, do it with purpose, and breathe through it. Um, now, walking is a good thing. Cotton candy, hi, honey. It's so good to see you. I flew the drone. I flew it. Uh, yes, the battery's dead now. But I flew it a whole five minutes. Cotton candy. <laughs> I flew it a whole five minutes. Yeah, I love the birds too. I really do. I wish the traffic would stop. I mean, this is not a major hurt. I mean, this is not a major road neither. But people cut up this way because then they miss all the lights. So Jacqueline, hi honey, it's so good to see you. How are you? Yes, I flew it, I flew the drone, the battery's dead right now. So yeah, for a whole five minutes, maybe longer. Yeah, yes! <laughs> it's so exciting and I did it. If you want to go back and, and watch I did it um, towards the beginning, so if you want to go back, yeah, you can go back and watch. Um, so, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm real excited. So now, I am really, really encouraged, 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 I'm really encouraged to buy some, um, hello. I'm really encouraged to buy some um, spare batteries for it so that we can we can have more fun instead of just five minutes of fun and so yeah I'm, I'm, I'm real excited I'm so excited <laughs> De plane, de plane. Oh, I need, I need some, I need some Polaroid sunglasses. I keep saying that. I have to look and see if they have them in Walmart. Do you remember when Polaroid sunglasses? Was I saying something that I didn't finish? By the way, there's something I have noticed. And a lot when I watch my life, some of my, I don't always watch the whole live stream playback. I watch part of the live stream playback. And in my videos, when I'm editing my videos, I've noticed that there's many a time I don't finish a sentence. It's no wonder my poor husband doesn't understand what I'm saying half the time. Put that drone <laughs> he's that's funny. Put the remote down and let the plane fly up there. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, that's funny. Alright, thanks, Kate. Um, yeah. So don't don't tell my husband TJ explores. Good evening. You missed it. I flew it. Your battery's dead right now, see so you no know, flashing lights. I flew it a whole five minutes, maybe a little bit longer than five minutes. I flew it, yeah! <laughs> and it's right, it's, it's near the beginning of the, the live stream. So, yeah, I got it up. Well, actually, my husband gets it up. No, no I didn't say that. I didn't say that. So he tells me anyway. So he tells me anyway, he's, uh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's okay, cotton candy. It's right at the beginning. It's right, it's to, right in the, the first, you know, it, it's right in the beginning of the live stream. And I'm, I hope I was trying to, you know, fly the, the drone as well as, you know, turn the candle. I mean, turn the candle. Oh my God, turn the candle. 
turn the tripod the right way around. Um, so I'm hoping that, you know, I managed to catch it all. I really should have stood further away. Um, I was intending on flying it down that way, but it kind of went over towards the neighbors. I thought it was going to hit the neighbor's truck. <laughs> it kind of like skimmed over the top of the neighbor's truck. And I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> yes, walking is very good exercise, Kate. Very good exercise. And um, if you haven't, if you haven't, been doing a lot of walking and it's too hot to go outside or it's raining you can walk make yourself a circuit around your house yeah the neighbor's truck let me turn you around you see how nice that truck is? <laughs> it is skimmed right over the top of his up the top of it <laughs> It skimmed right over the top of it, it did. So, if you can walk continuously for five minutes, make yourself a circuit around the house, and you do that every day or a couple of times a day, and then after a week, go six minutes, and then after another week, go seven minutes. And then you just keep up in your minutes. Now, if you're going to walk outside, <laughs> you're really chinny. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I was a good girl, I really was, but oh my gosh. Not really. Well, I tried anyway, but um, if you have a flat surface that you can walk along outside walk it but remember you have to get back home this is something that I have done so many times myself I have gone walking along oh yeah I'm doing great all right Jenny I mean Denise okay Denise honey um you know I was walking along and I'm thinking I'm doing great and then all of a sudden I realize I have to get back home which is 15 minutes away. Oh yeah. And then my husband comes walking down the street. What the hell are you, what are you doing? You silly. Yeah. All right, Kate, honey. Thank you ever so much for stopping by. And keep an eye out for those, those links that I'll be dropping in the pinned comments, honey. I love you, Kate. I really appreciate you coming by. I really do. You know, and, and that's one way of, 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 of starting to get yourself moving and going. Right, exactly, Con Candy. That's why I, I recommend that, you know, when it's hot like that and there's, there's a lot of heat or it's too cold out, make yourself a circuit inside your home. Make yourself a circuit inside your home and walk that circuit. I mean, you can change it up. You can walk the opposite direction. You can do figure eights around that circuit. I mean, you can do whatever you want. I mean, play some music while you're doing it, you know, kind of bop along as you're doing it. But, you know, get, get yourself moving, get yourself doing it. Um, because trust me, that really does help. It, it helps a great deal. Um, and if you're lucky, you might find something like a, like I have called a gazelle. Um, yeah, I'll buy a drone. <laughs> TJ, <laughs> you gotta go chasing after the drone. <coughs> The burn says I have neuropathy in my hands and feet, arthritis very bad, expecting rain, either today, tomorrow, I am hardly able to walk. I get it, I get it, I get it, Laverne, trust me, I get it, I have um, lupus, and that is very painful. Yeah, the ragweed is high, um, 
I have something growing in my garden. Well, actually, no, it's gone. Where did it go? Well, it's gone now, but I had something growing in my garden, and I, I don't really know what ragweed looks like. I need to learn. I can't really find pictures of ragweed that's very close. Yep, I have asthma too. Um, but yeah, I have lupus. I, ha I have um, severe spinal problems. Um, I have, you know, arthritis throughout. So I, I do understand Laverne. I do understand. If you can just shuffle a few minutes, um, it will, I know it will be painful, but it helps with your breathing. Yep. You gotta keep moving, Laverne, honey. I know it's really hard to do. Trust me, I do. Um, I used to be on 90 milligrams of morphine a day to help with the pain. And... It was wonderful because, I mean, I didn't have a high or anything like that, but I had very little pain whatsoever. Um, Ooh, neighbors are arguing. Oh, Good. Oh, Laverne, I'm so proud of you. Yes. You can do it, Laverne. Yes. Uh, TJ says you need a GoFundMe for every drone flight to cover the any damages to windows and pickers. Which reminds me, TJ, thank you for that super chat yesterday. I didn't see it when it first came up, but I checked it this morning. And yeah, I'll put that in, I'll put that in the uh, fund for repairs to the neighbors, cars, trucks, and windows. <laughs> All the drone floated into the road a few times and I was going to get hit. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh my gosh, it was, it was like, oh no! Oh, Ginny, you are so sweet. You really are. And you know that I keep you, you, you in my heart all the time. I keep all of you. A donation can. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I've got scoliosis too. They found that in my spine. Um, for years, uh, when I've had MRIs done of my spine, I've had um, the technician say to me, um, April, does the lupus affect my lungs? That I don't know. Um, you know, I'm, I'm classified as mild lupus. I have found the less time I spend in the sun, the better it is. Um, there was, oh, for, for years and years and years, I had the the butterfly rash. Um, that was because I spent an awful lot of time in the sun. I was so skinny. Um, now, I was diagnosed with adult onset um, asthma when I was in my 20s. And it was, uh, it was mice, it's mice that really sets me off, the asthma off. Oh, Harley Davidson, there's, oh, I don't know if y'all can see that, that's a Harley Davidson. Come, come back. You're supposed to deliver it at my house. Oh, man! I wish I could run. I would take you all and we could go see who's, who's getting a Harley delivered. Ooh. 
All right, Denise, honey. I'm not going to be on too much longer because I'm running me out. Yeah, the sun makes me very tired, Laverne. Uh, well, you know what? I'm, I'm going to be honest right now. That, um... You see, I found that morphine helped me, but it, it depends on, on how, they're, how they're giving you the morphine. Um, I was on 30 milligrams extended release every 8 hours, not every 12 hours, but every 8 hours. And I took it religiously every 8 hours. And that's when I found that it, it really helped. Um, I could do a lot more than I can do now. Um, I was a lot more active. And I could actually, to be honest with you, breathe a bit better. Um, so... But, you know, unfortunately, to go for... TJ says, I've just come home from feeding the homeless. We are Salvation Emily at the end of every meal. When everyone has gone, myself and two others, and the vicar say prayers. Oh. Oh, TJ, you may, um, are you making me cry? Thank you so much. I mean, especially after all that you do, not just for me, but for so many people. Grandandandandand! <laughs> Welcome from Spain. Thank you for coming in, honey. Thank you for coming in. Yes, I'm a pilot already. I did it. I did it. I flew it. The battery's dead right now. So, but I blew it. I, I, I blew it. I didn't blow it. I flew it. I flew it for about five minutes. And it's actually at the beginning of the live stream. So, you really don't have to go back to, you know, watch too much of it. The replay in order to watch the flight. Um, but yeah, yeah, I flew it. Ah! <laughs> I was so excited. The neighbors are looking at me thinking I'm crazy. Yep. Yeah. Yes, TJ, we are one big family in here. That is so true. That is so true. And, um, you know, maybe when Jed comes over, he can, um, There's Salvation Army here in town, and I've, um... Oh, good night, April. Sweet dreams, honey. And, and lots of hugs and kisses. Thank you ever so much. I love you. Thank you for coming. Proud Mom 1966. <clears throat> She's from Maine. Everybody, please welcome Proud Mom. Um, Proud Mom is, is new. So welcome her, please, into the community with open arms, just like you welcome everybody here. Um, I am happy to say that I did fly the drone. I did fly the drone. I flew the drone. Hey, little fly. Just sit. Look at that. Somebody, somebody's trying to fly the drone. You see that? Can you see that? Look at it. We have a new pilot. We definitely have a new pilot. <laughs> Hello. I don't I don't think you're going anywhere today, little one. Yep, we've got a new pilot. Take it for a fright. <laughs> Crystal Justice. 
Well, unfortunately. Oh, oh. Thank you. Oh, that little squirrel nearly had. Oh, God. That little squirrel nearly had its lights taken out. Oh, my God. Luckily, it was a female driving. But she stopped and let it go, let it finish crossing the road. But it was this close. Oh my goodness! The excitement around here! <clears throat> oh, you got to try it, Grand Dan Dan Dam. It is good! Um, yes, it has been raining. The ground is soaking wet. My stool as I'm sitting here is slowly sinking in. Um, there's squirrels. Yep, squirrels. Um, bears. I don't, I haven't seen any bears around here. But we do have coyote. Um, there's a huge pack of coyote that live up in the woods that you can see at the back there and they do come down into the yard and um, we have um, we have um, I think it's red tail fox we have fox that come yes I'm in Kansas I'm in Kansas cotton candy and um, take a look at see that that's the sky that's the sky so it looks like it could come. Um, the coyote, no. We've never really had a problem with the coyote. You know, I, I've seen some videos out there of supposed coyotes, um, coyote stalking humans and what have you. But, you know, I, I've seen these coyote, coyote and they are huge. Grace says invite me over and we can have a squirrel barbecue. I don't think so. Foxes are your biggest animals. TJ, oh my gosh. Well, if Jed, you know, depending on the time of year that Jed comes over, um, we might be able to go, um, Hopefully, you know, they'll be howling while well, he's here. Well, they don't howl, they, they laugh. They kind of call. You can hear, you can hear the coyotes call. Um, <laughs> you would try a bit. <laughs> Granddad down. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, but we got storm clouds here. Um, the, the whole sky is just it's just covered um there's no blue whatsoever there's no blue whatsoever in the sky right now um it, it's just crazy um now everybody if you haven't made friends with anybody that's come into the room please make friends with them um, I know some of them don't actually have a channel, they are just support channels, they like to come and support people. You tried a bit of cat? Oh, I don't know about that yet. Ooh. <laughs> but, uh, oops. What kind of cat? Well, I'm not even going to ask what kind of cat. Yeah, it's humid, it really is humid. Yeah, it's, well, of course it's dark there, TJ Explores. It's like in the middle of the night there for you, isn't it? Um, I don't even know what time it is right now. I know it's around, I know it's after four o'clock. Yeah, roadkill, yummy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, uh, someone cook it. Uh, yeah, in times of war, yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta eat what well, you gotta. Well, you've gotta eat. Well, in times of war, you gotta eat whatever you can. Supporters are amazing people. Yeah, we all start somewhere. That is so true, Crystal Justice. That is so true, honey. 
All right, Jacqueline, you go have a wonderful night and enjoy your dinner, sweetie. A Chinese chicken is at its best. The four drumsticks in every bucket. Oh, gosh. <laughs> it's just like wild rabbit. Yep, I can believe that too, Grandan. Crystal. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it, it's, the time is a hair past the freckle. I forget. Yeah, I remember that one. Oh, I remember that saying. Yes, I did, Valerie. I did. I got, I got the. You see, the the lights are not flashing, so I've, the battery's completely out. But yes, I did. I got it flying, and I got it. I managed to do it at the beginning of the of the live stream. So you don't have to watch the whole live stream again to see me actually flying the drone, and I flew it for five minutes. Yes. Yes. All right, Cotton Candy, you take care, sweetie. I love you and thank you for joining me in your, in your and, and taking your time during your break. Thank you ever so much, honey. All right, Denise, you take care. You have sweet dreams, sweetie. I love you. Bye bye. I love you too, Cotton Candy. Oh, it'll be 4737. Okay, thank you, Ginny, honey. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, oh, Crystal, it was so much fun. And the funny thing is... <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say, yeah, that is so true. That is so true. The granddad, that is so true. That that little fly keeps coming back and hovering around. It really is. It, it's like, can I can I take a ride on that thing? Nope, because of no batteries. No batteries at all. Brian G. Johnson TV channel. Thank you, Grizz. Chris says check out Brian G. Johnson TV channel. That's a good way to help grow your channel. So, Marie! Hi, honey! You missed it! I flew the drone. Say the batteries are dead. And yes, I flew it. A whole five minutes. I nearly hit the neighbor's truck. It's a very nice truck. And it kind of skimmed right over the top thought it was going to hit the truck. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yep. And then and then it hovered into it it went into the road. It hovered it went into the road. So I had to bring it oh my. And then I couldn't figure out why when I was going forwards it wasn't coming back to me. And then I realized the darn thing was flying us backwards. So it was flying this way. Instead of this way. Luckily, I'm dyslexic, so it didn't take me long to figure out how to use the controls. That's backwards. So I managed to do it, but it's in the beginning of the live stream. We didn't waste too much time messing around. Hell, oh, kitten, honey, thank you for stopping in. Yes! They're just going to call me the mad drone lady. Yes! There's one neighbour that keeps peeking out of his window. He thinks I'm totally nuts. I'm sat here talking to a camera. As if that's unusual these days, which, you know... Please. Please. So, yep. <laughs> that's your life. <laughs> Miles per hour. Ass backwards. Yeah, well, we all have to do it somewhere in the other, don't we? As long as we get around. As long as we get around, around. Oh, thank you, Gary. Gary said that my drone flying, my epic drone flying, is at about 20 minutes into the live stream. So I want to thank you all so much. I really I have to. Have, I'm definitely going to buy some new new batteries, some spare batteries, so that you know we can have a bit more fun with this. 
rather than it because um, I float for like just over five minutes and then that's it we're dead you know we, we can't we can't only Claire honey thank you for stopping in it's so good to see you and let me tell you something folks if you need help maybe anybody in the chat gets a new drone maybe anybody watching my my video gets a drone gray i have to say this right gray 1107 has been an absolute huge help because because and <laughs> that's so true once you come out um because the, the instructions the instructions have been translated from chinese and they're absolutely gibberish um on one 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 instruction it says if the pilot is novice blanket the sky blanket the sky okay so can you tell me something how do we put a blanket in the sky unless they mean a tent it was, it was, I mean, it was just absolute gibberish people who don't know you around there all they see is he's crazily jumping around yeah <laughs> that's so true that's so true <laughs> That is so true. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, Crystal Justice says they run the drone network. Really? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to take a look over there. Uh, Grace says I don't need a drone to fly high. Ah, my mountain water. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's so funny in mountain water. One of these days I just might make some mountain water myself. I don't I don't think so. <laughs> my husband will be like, what the heck? Okay, Crystal, um, Captain Cook. And I can't read the rest of that because a lot of the times I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you all. I read by what's called word recognition. I recognize the shapes of words, but if it's a word that I'm not familiar with, I have a hard time reading. And that's not just because of my dyslexia, it's also because of my eyes. My eyes are, my eyes are a bit off to cock. Yeah. Teacher, you took your drone into the clouds. Are you nuts? Wow. Okay, so the one like neighbor took himself forever to get in his truck and, and leave. That's been sat there peeking out through his window looking at me. I should have shouted over, go on YouTube. Look for jungle. Oh! Did oh you missed it? Oh! So, uh, a hummingbird landed on my drone. the camera low enough to catch it. Oh man! It's in the back garden but if we go towards it, if we go there because I've got flowers down there. But if we go that way we're gonna we're gonna scare it off. Oh man! <laughs> I used to spend all my time outside. I never used to spend much time inside. And I hope to get that way one day soon. So. 
Yeah, I love hummingbirds. I really do. Where's Sam? She's probably sleeping right now, Marie. Um, so... I'll have to get in touch. In touch with her. Oh, sorry folks. It's time for a cup of tea. Scotty! Hi, honey! You missed it, Scotty! Oh my gosh, my gosh, my gosh, my gosh, my gosh. It takes five minutes to come back. Oh, hell no, I won't be doing that. I will not be doing that, TJ. Honestly, I, I, I can barely get this going. I flew the drone, Scotty. I flew the drone. Yes, it's at the beginning. It's at the beginning. Um, hell getting my walk. I'm going to be walking on the 22nd of September. Um, I will be starting between 12 and 1. Um, and I'll go live, you know, leaving the house. But I won't be walking. We'll be driving there because I'll be walking. There's a mile and something walk. Um, and it's at the riverfront in Leavenworth. It's called the Riverfront Walk at Leavenworth, Kansas. So if you want to check it out, you can check it out on Google Earth. And I will be live streaming it, folks. I will be going live. And I'll be doing the first six minutes as much as I can without oxygen and without any um, assistance. My husband will be with me, walking alongside of me with my wheelie, with, you know, all my equipment in it. After that, because, you know, you have to have a, a six-minute test when you go for your... Your, your, um, your, your first transplant um, consultation with the transplant doctor. Um, uh, in about two and a half months time, referrals will be going out. Um, thank you, Hell Kitten. Hey, I'm so excited. Um, I will have everything set up, you know, and then, you know, I'll be running, obviously, I'll be running on data. Then, after the six minutes, if I can make it six minutes without oxygen, all well and good. If I can't, I will put on my oxygen. And I will go as far as I can without assistance. Now, however long it takes me to do it, that is how it's not a race. It's a walk. So, and I'll be just doing the walk myself. Nobody else will be there. You know, it's not a huge walk or anything. It's just me doing the walk to show that it can be done and that my life is worth saving. Um, I won't help it, and I promise. My husband will be walking by my side. He will have all my equipment with me. So if I start getting tired, my lungs start getting tired, I will, I'll have the trilogy there right next to me so which and if uh, people don't know what the trilogy is it's actually a portable ventilator um it assists me in breathing when i get too tired to breathe on my own well this is a busy place isn't it so i will be doing it and i don't know if uh, how much further i will go i don't know if i'll be able to do just the one mile or if i'll do one mile there and one mile back or and then one mile back again um i'm just gonna go as much as i can go you have two deliveries for two deliveries for me oh my gosh tj oh my gosh tj Oh my gosh. I 
I knew one was coming, but not two. Oh my gosh. And that's another live stream that will be happening within hopefully the next week. Will be um, a special box coming from the UK. And it looks like now two special boxes coming from the UK. You had to because of oh TJ I told you don't don't, don't I told you uh, oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh my goodness I oh my gosh thank you thank you. <sighs> remember to uh, I will do I, I, I will do I, I, I will do remember the SD cards yeah I will remember those oh my gosh oh my gosh I mean I'm not you see I know I know some of what's coming in 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 especially one box. But I'm not going to tell anybody because I want that to be. I know. I know what it is, but I don't know exactly what it is. Let's put it that way. I know what it is, but I don't know exactly what it is. Well, exactly what one of them is. Well, actually, I do because she did tell, but I can't remember. So, anyway. <coughs> So there's a huge surprise coming. There's a two huge surprise comings right now. She says, I don't know something very special. Oh, you know I'm going to be crying, don't you? You know I'm going to be crying. Oh, Crystal, thank you ever so much, honey. I get my inspiration. People keep telling me I'm, I'm a big inspiration, but... You know, I get my inspiration from every single one of you. In order to keep going, TJ says I know what it is. Well, I would hope you know what it is. <laughs> oh my gosh! But I, you know, I, 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 I find inspiration in every single one of you because you help drive me forward. You help to keep me going. Um, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be as far as I am today. I wouldn't be doing a lot of the things that I do today. I would be like, oh, what's the point? Oh, it's not. Well, maybe not. Not so much. But I wouldn't be pushing myself as much. Um, so, oh, thank you so much, Crystal. I do have my days where I'm not so positive, to be honest with you, I have my days, I do have those days, I do have those moments. Takes us life with Julie, yeah, yes, I love you too, honey. I flew my drone, the battery's dead right now, you see the lights are not flashing, the battery died, so, but I managed to fly the drone, yes, yes. I flew it for five minutes. Yeah, yes, I did it. I did it. <laughs> yeah, we all have our days. That's true. And it's all how we handle it. That is so true, Crystal Justice. That is so true, honey. That is so true. <clears throat> yeah, we all have bad days sometimes. I mean, it's, 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 it's just the way that it's, it's part of life. You know what, I can't stand these people that say, Oh, be positive! You've got to stay positive! Well, you know what I say to them? <coughs> Is what I say to them. Because it's not possible, it's not possible, it's not humanly, humanly possible to stay positive all the time. It just isn't. What I say is stay stubborn. But stay stubborn in the right way. <clears throat> and that's a lesson I had to learn myself. I'm stubborn. I'm really stubborn. My husband will tell you I'm as stubborn as all get out. But 
there's a right way to be stubborn and a wrong way to be stubborn. If you're struggling and somebody comes to help you, accept that help. Just say yes, thank you. You know, accept that help. Don't do what I used to do and I can do it myself. I don't need anybody's help. I can do it all by myself. Well, that's not true. That's not true. We all need help. We all need help. Texas Julie says, I got that covered. Yep. We all need help. So, you know, this, this, oh, you got to stay positive. Be positive all the time. You're right. You're right. Ah, TJ says the only way to stay positive is to stick your fingers in a wall, stock it. That is, yeah, you got a good one there. You got a good one there. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Ginny says, makes me wonder if there is anything wrong with those people that would preach about being positive. Yes, I agree with you there, Ginny. I agree with you. Um, what's that, Ginny? Yeah, Ginny. I'm sorry, honey. Um, uh, you know, it, it, it's like I hear people say, God wouldn't give you more than you can handle. Really? Really? Then why are there people committing suicide? Why are there people going shooting at other people? Why are there people because they can't handle things? Because it's all too much for them? Really? Now... I, I, I can't I can't stand cliches I'm sorry I just cannot stand these these um, these 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 sayings that are made by someone to make themselves feel better but it's now become a worldwide thing um, TJ says, yeah, but I keep saying if I was meant to fly, God would have given me wings. <laughs> TJ, oh my God, I flew, TJ, I flew. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh my Lord. But I managed to fly, yes. Now what I need to learn to do is, is learn how to hook it up to my phone. I've got the app on my phone, but I just need to learn how to hook it up to my phone, you know, to, to do it all and, and record my phone is, is what I need to do. Is, and I need to record it on my phone. So, yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh God! Uh, Grace says Juna had to give up doing the glute squeezes. My wife was complaining about me having too many accidents. <laughs> well, you know those glute squeezes are important because you get that old people sag that happens down, you know, back there. It kind of instead, you know, it, it kind of. Yeah, it's not a nice, it's a flat, sagging thing, you yeah. know. Oh my gosh. Oh, Grace, you are just too much, you know that? <laughs> You're just too much. <clears throat> Elkins says maybe you should do it on the potty. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a good one, Elkin. That's a good one, honey. <clears throat> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh dear me. I would take you for a walk out back, but unfortunately I'm, I'm hooked up to my oxygen concentrator that's in the house. And uh, 
although it has wheels on it, it's not portable. Um, it doesn't run off batteries and I've only got a yeah, 40 foot line, well a 50 foot line. So I'm, I'm kind of a little bit at my limit right now, so I can't, I can't um, take you out back. Uh, exactly, uh, Ginny. There you go. Every, everybody, she says you are all good for me and my poor heart. Exactly, Ginny. We're all good for each other. Oh my gosh. You know, I would, uh, I would turn around so you can actually watch the world go well, the cars go by. But there's a couple of houses opposite me. And I don't think they would be appreciative of having a camera face because they are a bit paranoid. So, <laughs> no, I'm not watching you. We're watching the traffic go by. Oh, here's one coming. Hello. Goodbye. There's another one going that way. It's so funny how they all look at me. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, no you can't really tell, our our uh, mailbox is leaning over to the side because somebody kind of drove into the ditch. I'm in the great honey, it's so good to see you, thank you, hugs to you too. <clears throat> How are you doing Herman? Hal Kitten says, what happens if the electricity go out? My grandma has one of those <coughs> two but it does have a battery backup. <coughs> Mine does not have a battery backup, but I have some large tanks that I keep in reserve in case the um, electricity goes out. TJ says, I wonder if, go on, if I go on Google Earth, I will see this crazy lady sat in her garden. <laughs> I'll wave, I'll wave at you, I'll wave at you. <clears throat> oh, thank you, Laverne. I love being outside, I really do, I really do. I love being outside. <laughs> Texas Life with Julie says, let's try it. So, all right, Crystal Justice, you take care, honey. Thank you ever so much for stopping in. You have a wonderful day, evening, night, or morning. So, yeah. Well, that was piss poor advertising. Oh, did I really say that? Somebody drove by with a white van and they, they had this yellow piece of, um, looked like uh, 18 by 20 plastic that has something printed on it and it wasn't it was something electric company but it wasn't even put on neatly it was all scrumpled up if i was gonna I use my van for advertising i would make sure it was put on nicely thank you crystal honey thank you ever so much thank you for stopping by the man says, me too, I'd rather be outside than indoors. Yep. I love working with my plants and flowers. Uh, well, we've been working on... Let me turn you around. You can see back there... We've been... Oh, no, back there. Back behind our house. It's kind of got... You know, it, it's, it started turning to white, to the, getting to, back to the wild again. So we've been working on that slowly. Um, <clears throat> now that it's cooling down, and once the mosquitoes are not as active, we'll be able to get out and, and clean it out some more. So I'm, I'm hoping that um, next year, next spring, we'll be able to have that area back to the way that I wanted it to be. And that was a nice place with herbs in it and um, wildflowers in it um, and an area that we could actually sit and enjoy. 
Um, I've got a Jack in the Pulpit growing there, which actually likes to eat mosquitoes. It's one of those, you know, plants. So, uh, the carnivorous plant. And I think I might actually go get some more. This, they grow up, up, up in the woods there. So I might go and get some more later on. <coughs> 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 Uh oh yeah I do want to have a a small raised bed garden um, <clears throat> but unfortunately the feral cat has been using that area as a potty so I'm going to be spraying it very well with some stuff with some citronella spray because they don't like citronella and um, what's the other one? I think it's coriander they don't like yeah that the, the feral cat is the one actually that's asleep you can see him right there asleep on top of the old car so <clears throat> Yeah, Laverne, you know what? If you can get somebody to help you um, and put a raised bed in, it is so much easier. Once you've d the hard the hard part is getting the raised beds put together, the soil in, and get set up. Once you've got it done, it's easy after that. It's it's so much easier after that. And I think it's the same with any kind of gardening. I mean, I used to have, when I lived in, in the outskirts of Philadelphia, I had a huge garden. And I had herbs, I had vegetables, I had fruit, I had flowers. And I had enough for me, for the neighbors, and for the family. So when I say family, I mean extend that extended family. Um, <clears throat> And enough for the wildfire, you know, the wildlife to have some too. And the hardest part was actually getting the ground work done, getting it, you know, so it was fertile enough, getting it all ground up. And um, unfortunately, here we can't use a tiller because there's so many damn boulders and trash and goodness knows what else. Um, so, because it looks like at one time when they, this area used to be lower, so the creek used to flood across here a lot quicker. And what they did was they just piled all kinds of trash in, rocks in, rubble in, huge boulders in to raise the level of the ground up so it doesn't flood so easy um but that's just made it hard for planting anything you know you you, you put your spade in and you go to give it a good whack with your foot and it's like Bing! because there's a huge boulder right there so <clears throat> Oh, your grandson made you one? Oh, Texas Life, that is wonderful. Oh, that is wonderful. Yeah, I would love some. I mean, we have some wood out back. I mean, some of it is rotten, so it has to go somewhere. I'm not sure where, probably to the landfill, which I really hate to do. Um, but if it's rotten, there's, you know, there's not worth using it for anything um, so Surprisingly, I haven't seen the kids walk by from school because they usually walk by around. They usually start coming up this way around this time. 
and then it's like oh they give you a heart attack walking in the middle of the road dancing around you know kicking a football backwards and forwards or I mean a soccer ball backwards and forwards hello hello can you hear me I should shout yes I can hear you <laughs> she, she's it's the neighbor that's on the phone it's amazing they're probably listening to what I'm saying here because there's sound down there we're down in the bottom of a valley so the sound you know vibrates around pretty quickly and easily so well it's getting that you can hear me okay good yeah <laughs> yes I can hear you oh dear listen to the birds listen to the birds It's getting that odd stillness about it again. <coughs> Hello? Wait, no. Okay. He left without me. It was a nice motorbike. It was not a Harley, but it was a good bike. I really would love to know who, who got that Harley. Oh, there's a nice blue car. I love that blue watch. It's going by. You should see it. Ow! That's a nice colour blue. <clears throat> that really is a nice colour blue. Huh? You can't see me in Google Earth with my po posh house. Are you kidding? My house ain't posh. <laughs> Uh, just Google Earth made it look nicer. <laughs> All right, Hell Kitten, you enjoy your dinner, honey. Thank you for stopping in. Oh my goodness. No, my house ain't posh. Google Earth just made it look posh. Um, we're actually thinking of repainting it and getting rid of that shitty colour. Um, it was supposed to be a, a, um, rust and blue. Um, there's a few houses around that are this colour. And I think they were owned by the same person because they, they used to be rentals. Um, <clears throat> so I think they were owned by the same person. My husband painted last year and I said to him, why don't we pick a new colour? And he said, no, I'll just do it the same colour. Well, when it came back, he started painting and it wasn't the same colour. And he's now decided he would like to paint it a different colour. So that is on our list of things to do. Goggles. There's one blue shed to have by you. Uh, yep, over the road. Let me turn you around. Mm. Right there, blue shed. Right over the road, Paddy Corner. When Google runs way behind, man shows a car in my driveway that was back six years ago. Yeah, Google, Google Earth really is not an update thing. I mean, I was in my garden. Oh gosh. Years and years ago, when Google Earth, Google Earth, when Google Earth actually drove by here, and I stood there and I waved at them, and the, and do you know the damn buggers, they they 
they faded me out. They faded me out. And the neighbor across the right opposite us, I'll show you his house because he drove away. He's away. That gray house. That gray house. Right there. Nope, right there. That gray house right there. <coughs> At the time when Google Earth went by, they had a load of stuff all over their lawn, which happened to be the belongings that they stole from my house. So, and Google Earth cleaned all that up. So it looks like a, you know, really pristine place. Nope, not the way that it is. So, <clears throat> And my husband and I actually tried to look up on Google Earth the Riverside Walk. No, Texas, no, Texas. We, we had some real trouble with the neighbors. Um, thankfully, those neighbors have moved. They've left, they've gone. They're out of state, they're out of city. So we've had a couple of years peace. Um, we had many, many years of them breaking into our house. We couldn't make a move without being watched. Um, they would connect, they would, you know, contact each other. They'd be constantly texting. You know, there would somebody be somebody on each porch watching us. And then they would be constantly texting back and forth. So there was people that would be watching us. They would be up in the woods watching it when I was out in the garden out back. So, <clears throat> they took me to. They took you to our local KFC. Oh my gosh! <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, so we have really nice neighbors now. The young couple that lives next door to us, they are, they are so sweet. They are so nice. They are so kind. Um, and, and they've put so much work into the house next door. Um, it's a shame that they live next door to our house. Um, but we'll get there. We'll get there eventually. Um, you know, there was things that needed, there was, what, what, what initially was little things that needed to be done on the house have now turned out into bigger things that needed to be done on the house because of, you know, the neighbors breaking into our house. Um, my husband was working at the time. I, when it first started happening, um, I had my ceramic studio, so I was out of the house a lot and then when I had to stop work the studio and I came home um, I would call the police but it turned out that they had a police scanner so it didn't make any difference if I called the police because they would know that, that I'd called the police and the police were on the way, so they would text whoever was in my house that the police were on the way. Um, we had security cameras, but we couldn't get them up when we first, because the first thing that came was the recorder, re the recording device. There was no cameras. They'd run out of the cameras. It took a couple of weeks before the cameras came and they stole the instructions to the recording device so they knew how exactly it worked and that every four hours it would stop recording to download the file and you couldn't change you know the times of when it would it was it was set you know 12 and every four hours from 12 o'clock on 
so they knew that they had time then to come in and where they would come in they would come in through the garage which they can't do that now they would come in through the garage they would just raise the garage door up enough just to scoot underneath it I piled all kinds of stuff up against doors and everything to try and stop them from coming in Yep, it, it really is, it really is a shame. Um, and I was getting very clear pictures, but I couldn't really catch anybody on it, and I couldn't figure out why. And then one night I woke up, it was like 4 a.m. in the morning. I was actually sleeping with the lights on, which made it easier for them, but I was, I was, it, I mean, that's how afraid I was. Um, the police wouldn't do anything and I found out that they were there was a connection between some of them and the police anyway so that blew that one um, they wouldn't believe anything they wouldn't accept anything was happening because no doors or windows were actually smashed or broken and I, I said to one of them um, have you watched the internet lately you know, and especially YouTube, you, I mean, you, there's all videos out there teaching you how to break into a house without smashing anything. Hello? So, but thankfully we have peace now, but now I have a mess in my house that uh, we are trying to get sorted out while we're trying to also clean up the... Um, you know, deal with the bathroom um, now that we've got rid of the mold in the bathroom. Uh, Texas says my best alarm is my Pomeranians. Yep, I swear they sleep with one eye open. <laughs> Welcome back, kitten. Thank you for coming back, honey. Um, yeah, I mean, Annie, she will bark. She will bark at the slightest sound. I mean, she, you know, she's, um, and sometimes it's hard to get her stop barking, you know, so, um, but yeah, we, we've had things fixed. Um, I did discover the reason why, I, I really would get clear pictures because there were also night cameras, they had night vision, and I would get clear pictures at first. But then the pictures were, you know, I'm looking at the screen <coughs> and the, they're all fuzzy. <coughs> and I found that there are little cut marks just right where the cam it goes into the camera. So it's not a really good connection. I'm telling you, people are determined. Oh, and we, we, we also have an alarm system. You can see there, there's the alarm thingy. We also have an alarm system. It works really wonders. Now we've changed a few things, so it works great now. Uh, we're two pit bulls. Yeah, we don't... <laughs> I would imagine knowing them with two pit bulls. Oh, my God. Rebecca, honey, I'm doing good. Thank you, sweetie. It's actually starting to get dark. Um... <clears throat> So I think I will be going in soon, but Rebecca, I managed to fly the drone. Look, the battery's dead, but I managed to find the drone. Google Birth at its best. <laughs> I'm going to have to go back and look for that one. <laughs> I'm going to have to go look back for that one, TJ. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <clears throat> Oh, yes, I can feel a few drops. Uh, yeah, let me show you. Oh, you can actually see there the sky behind me. Yep, it's starting to get a bit dark up there. There's a few drops of rain coming down. Yes, Rebecca, I flew it. I flew it, I flew it. Yeah, yes. It's in the beginning of the, of the live stream. So, and I flew it for about five minutes. <laughs> I flew it. 
I flew it for about five minutes and then the lights started flashing and it it came home I managed to bring it home but it crashed right into the um, into the tripod here but it, it, it flew, flew yeah yeah yep yeah. I, I, I love pit bulls too I love all kinds of dogs I love animals so well I'm feeling drops of rain so I think we'll we'll go in because if I wait until the rain really starts to come down I'll be having a problem with my breathing now oh god my bum's numb Oh, it was so much fun. The, the neighbours were all peeking out of their windows. They must have thought it was I mean, jumping up and down. and They must have thought it was nuts. Well, they do think I'm nuts anyway, so. I guess it just confirmed it. Oh. <clears throat> Hang on there, folks. I'll come right back for you. Oh. Oh, my bum's numb. Yeah, the neighbors think I'm nuts, they really do. Miss A, welcome. Thank you for joining the stream. <clears throat> We're going in because it's starting to rain. My husband's making me a nice cup of tea. <clears throat> I didn't manage to fly my drone. Oh, it's so exciting! Well, luckily, Rebecca, it's not so hot right now. It's, it is just muggy. And as long as I was sitting there, I was okay. But now I'm moving. I'm getting out of breath. I'm just hoping it's not this muggy on September the 22nd. Um, but that's okay. I'll have my trilogy with me. So I'll still be able to continue on with the walk.
right, now we've got the steps to do. We can do this, right? We can do this. Hello, kitty, kitty, kitty. All right. Well, Joan, you don't need the umbrella in your house. Nope, I don't need the umbrella. Put the umbrella down. <clears throat> oh! I'll take the drum with me so we can start charging it again. This is how you walk up steps with COPD, ladies and gentlemen. You breathe in when you stood on the step and you breathe out as you go up the step. Or maybe it's the other way around. Whichever works for you, but you take it one step at a time. <clears throat> you don't try, oh I can take the mask off now. Hello. <clears throat> oh my husband's disappeared, he said he was going to make me a cup of tea. Heck, I don't know where it is appeared after. Okay, let's check and see if my tea's in the microwave. Yes, we microwave tea. Oh, I'm fighting with everything here. Yeah. Oh, I've got Oh, yes, it's in the microwave. Hang on a pup. Sorry, I don't mean to give you a boob shot. Not that there's much boob there to have a shot with. <clears throat> Let's have a cup of tea, shall we? See, you see that? This is, this is Coke Zero. Whenever he drinks this, he gets pains. Pains in his joints, cramps in his muscles. So if any of you drink that, stop drinking it for a while and see what happens to your pain. See if it improves. Because, honey, I don't have enough hands. Can you bring my tea through, please? Pretty, please. Hands? Uh, yeah, I don't have enough hands. Okay. I've only got two. Pretty, please. What do you need? My tea. And top the bedroom, please. This is card. Thank you. Yeah. A statement or a card? Card. Oh, yeah. I had a zero balance, I called it in. Okay. 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 Here we go. my room. In my room. All right, let me, let me, let me extend these legs. Okay, so 
looks so extended. There we go. Thank you, honey. Hello, honey. Did you miss your mommy? Well, I'm here now. Oh. Where are you going? Cup of tea. Oh my goodness. My cat's just hurting. Your hubby won't Jenny, your hubby won't let you do stairs anymore. Why won't your hubby let you do stairs anymore? You want to keep these? You want like a card? Yeah, it's her ID card. No, but I mean it's just like a keychain kind of. Yeah, it's her ID card. You want to keep it? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. And it got an ID card done at the vet's office. Look at that. How are you going to be able to tell that that's my dog? Okay. I need to see why Ginny's husband won't let her do the stairs. Maybe I need to have a few words with your husband. Let me check first why. Because yes, there are definitely some reasons why it's not good to take on certain endeavours. That is for sure. Well, Ginny, my goodness me, you should not be doing that. Yeah. Am I going to have to teach you how to go up and down the stairs again? Huh? Because let me tell you, it's important that you, you still do as much as you can. Now, do you have do you have railings on both sides of your stairs going up and down? Maybe, maybe, maybe you could put in for, um, talk to your doctor and see if you could have one of those chair lifts going up and down. Night flight! Hi, honey! It's so good to see you. Thank you for stopping by. Guess what? I flew my drone! Yes! I flew my drone! I did, I did, I did, I did. I did, I did. Uh, yeah, I did need to call an adult. I will have to say, if it hadn't been for the hell of Gray, and that's G-R-A-Y, Gray, 1107, if it hadn't been for his help, and, and TJ Explores help too, but Gray, 1107, was a huge help um, in in helping me get this thing off the go oh here we go again see this is stupid because one of these days this is gonna uh, these little tabs are gonna break they, they shouldn't have made something like this if you oh Gosh. I'll show you what I mean. You see those tiny little tabs there on each side? They're, they make it very hard to get those tabs out one of these days. They are going to break! Come on. All right, we're going to charge this battery back up. We're going to charge this baby back up. Maybe I could try and fly it in my bedroom. <gasps> no, there's too many obstacles. Ah, oh, 
and Jenny says she keeps trying falling over. She fell over in the living room a week later for no reason. She just goes down. Okay. Have they tested you? <laughs> El Kitten says that's why they made tape. Um, Ginny, have they tested you for something called POTS? P-O-T-S. Posterior something or other. It's to do with your heart and your blood pressure. If you, you know, it just suddenly drops and you, down you go. Was it, ah? Oh. So. You got away with what one, TJ? I'm going to have to scroll back up now. What was embarrassing? <laughs> That's okay, TJ. That's okay, TJ. <laughs> we all have those embarrassing moments. <laughs> Okay, when you've seen the um, pulmonologist, um, also mention to the pulmonologist that you just suddenly go down and um, they might do a 24 hour to 48 hour oxygen saturation test on you and that's just a way you wear a thingy and it records. So, all right, Texas Julie. <laughs> Texas Julie says she's now in need of a cup of tea. Um, cheers. Because it could be, it could um, it could either be you know your blood pressure suddenly dropping, or it could be that your oxygen level just suddenly drops. Um, and the only way they can test for that is to do a 24, 48 hour, and sometimes they do a week long um, O2 test and that's where the thing is actually stuck on your, your finger and, you know, it stays there. So it's constantly recording your, um, your, <clears throat> your levels, your O2 levels. Okay, let's get this plugged in. I'm trying to do this from memory because my eyes are a bit fuzzy. So, you know, if it's that, then it's something that can be that can be um fixed rather quickly, Ginny. By giving you, you know, O2, extra O2. Oh my goodness. There we go. There we go. So would you say that looks like my dog? That's crazy. Oh, I should cover that up, shouldn't I? Never mind. That's crazy. If, if somebody suddenly turns up with a dog that's a toy fox terrier do you think if they look through their their things they could say that that looks like my dog it's nuts 
Okay, Ginny says she's on oxygen at night, but need it sometimes during the day. Because you can't breathe good. Well, then, um, the other thing that they should test you for, too, is... Um, the other thing you should test you to for is pulmonary hypertension. Because, um, you know, it could be the start of pulmonary hypertension. Who knows? Because that happens when you have lung problems. Well, not all the time, but just sometimes. When you have lung problems. Oh, it's a good thing I made my bed, isn't it? You can see it right there in the mirror. Well, it's kind of sort of made. It's not kind of fully made, but that's okay. It's, it's, it's put together. So. Well, kids, according to this, I've been on nearly three hours. Well, heck, I might as well go the 15 minutes. Well, actually, it's uh, no. <laughs> nearly 20 minutes. Well, no, actually. Forty-seven minutes, maybe forty-eight minutes. Might as well go that ten time and do the full three hours. Yes, we can do this. We can do this, and that's what this month is called. It's called We I Can Do This, and uh, that's showing that we could we can push through this. All right, TJ explores. Oh, I thought you were going to go to bed. It's late already. Oh, well, it's late enough. My gosh. Thank you so much. <laughs> the special chat message from Jed. Aww. Aww. I see you. I see you both. I see you both, TJ. Thank you ever so much. It's always fun having you here. It's always a wonderful time. Thank you ever so much. Yeah, so I, I, I'm so excited now. I'm really encouraged to go and get some more batteries for the drone um, so that, you know, we can fly longer than five minutes. <laughs> Won't that be fun? Um, and next week, we will have a bit more fun with it and I'll make sure because I'm kind of low on oxygen tanks right now. I have three big ones, but I only want to use those in case of emergencies. Well, maybe flying a drone in the garden is an emergency, but then I can't really, if, if the drone goes down, I can't really kind of, well, I can't run anyway, so I can dash. I can dash, but I can't run. Um... I need to let my pants get dried too. I wet my pants. Well, actually, I didn't wet my pants. I didn't wet my pants. The grass wet the bottom of my pants. I wet my bottom pants. No, not the bottom. My, but the bottom of my pants, sorry. So, yeah, I'm excited about the drone too. So, if anybody out there is having a competition... Oh, by the way, I won this from... Rebel State Sovereign. Now, I'm not sure if he's still doing the competition, but and I, I don't, don't have the link lined up because I expected to be outside the whole time, but it started to rain. So, yeah, I wet my pants in the grass. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Now, I did buy, I did buy a, 
It was actually a sheet, a single sheet, but <clears throat> and it's really nice. What do you mean reconnecting? But with a bit more space in them. So I'm going to try and make some more. Redman, hi, honey. Thank you for coming by. Thank you ever so much. Guess what? I flew my drone. Yeah, yes, I flew the drone. I'm so excited. Yes, I got the drone up in the air. It flew for five minutes. Oh, we had fun. I was having trouble controlling it. And it wasn't until it kind of crashed back home that I realized it was flying ass backwards. Yep. It was flying around. I was trying to control it, the, you know, the push forward to go forward, the push back to go back. But every time I pushed forward, it was going further away from me. Luckily, I'm dyslexic, so it quickly I could figure out the, the controls. And I realized it was flying ass backwards. Yep. It was flying this way. So, I guess next time, I'm going to have to make sure when I... Look, I keep getting caught and stuff. When I when I, I have to make sure that this is put to the, we didn't have the camera going because it stays the SD cards. Well, I don't know if you can see there, but there's no way an SD card or even I have a micro SD card, it won't go in because right there there is this post it goes top to bottom. And no matter how you try and shove something in its backside, nothing it won't go in. So, I'm hoping by the end of next week, I might be able to do something very exciting with it. So, yeah, I'm thinking it just records to the phone too, Hell Kitten. I mean, it talks about the SD card in those gibberish instructions um but we know how those instructions go you know it talks about when the pilot is a novice blanket the sky well how the hell do you put a blanket in the sky is what i want to know you, you string it from one 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 washing line to the next and and then raise it up i mean come on now so Yeah, Redman, I I have I have a micro SD card. And no SD card of any size will fit in there because there's a post right in the way. It won't go in. It won't go in at all. Uh, Texas lady says I can't help you there I'm clueless me too I'm usually pretty good at figuring those things out and then I'm looking at it and I'm thinking to myself okay there's four tiny screws on that cap please don't tell me I have to undo those screws to put an SD card inside it oh my gosh oh it's so much fun having you here too Laverne thank you ever so much for stopping by sweetie you have a good night too love to you thank you thank you <laughs> redmond said strap a gopro to it with strap ties well i have the app for it to hook up to my phone to to go through my phone so i'm hoping that i'll be able to oh yeah that, i was wondering why it was loose it's because i didn't shut the the little thing back down um i'm hoping that once i get it hooked into the app in my phone that i'll be able to record through my phone so if I can do that 
Oh, with the, oh, yes, thank you, Redman. Thank you. Yes, it gives me hope. And then the next thing I need to learn after I've done that is can I do a live stream from the how oh, let me have let me let me let me let me think how do I put this how do I put it um yeah because in the instructions it said to look for Wi-Fi UFO which I did and I downloaded it oh where did I put the instructions ha hang on a sec just look at my mess while I go get the instructions Okay. Okay. Oh, my glasses are warm. From the air coming out of the... It says... Ah, oh, face first. Pair the frequency of the remote and the cod quopper quadcopter and then run Wi-Fi UFO Annie Beagle girl come here I'll do it I'll do it come on it's gonna rain kitten you know you don't like it when it rains come sit up Sit up, come on, up. No, sit up. Good girl. Okay, ready? Good girl. No, wrong hole, wrong hole, wrong hole. There you go, good girl. That's it. Good girl. Please don't have a seizure. Not another one. Okay, go on. Go find Pappy. Go, girl. Okay. Oh, okay. If you can get the camera working separately, test it, then fly and test. Okay. But would I be able to live stream? what the camera is seeing because that would be really cool or do I need a, a really fancy setup to do that I mean I did fly it I've already flown the drone I mean it didn't get very high off the ground but I flew it and it was flying ass backwards but that's okay I mean, I was just learning how to control it. So. I got that bit right. Yes. I did. So I, I don't really know if the camera works at all. At all, at all. But yeah, the instructions are not at all easy to go by. Definitely test the camera in my room. Okay. Only oh, Claire, that's okay, honey. Um, uh, that that's okay, sweetie. 
that's okay. Um, and Google my name. <laughs> yeah, Google my name. Um, and I'll be doing a walk <clears throat> on the um, 22nd of September, for those that don't know. I will be doing a walk on the 22nd of September, and it'll be it's the uh, River Her Front Walk, Leavenworth. You can check it out on Google Earth. It's about a mile plus. Um, and that's towards the next legs, the next step in my transplant journey. Um, referrals will be going out in about two and a half months time again. So, but there's a few things I have to get done. And one of them is my teeth. Yeah, they're not so nice. And that is, you know, the medication that I, I take. Um, and they are really sticklers about uh, when you go to a transplant centre. You know, they are really like <clears throat> about your dental work. So, which obviously they need to because if you, you know, they have to intubate you and everything, you know, stuff a tube down your throat and all that kind of stuff. When they put you out and they can't be having teeth that are crumbling um, while they do the surgery. Um, kind of chew my stomach a cup, wouldn't it, if I swallowed a tooth. So, but yeah. But I, I don't worry about that. I have um, a fundraiser going and... Um, what a lot of people don't know is that when you have an actual fundraiser going, um, people can actually ask to see where the funds are going. Yep. So, you know, I'm, I'm not really concerned about um, people knowing where I am because it's, it's, it's easy to find out anyway that's my name so um, oh my phone's starting to run out of energy let me close out some of these things. Why is it that when I click on the um, no messages thing, in order for it to stay, I'm still getting no notifications. I'm still getting notifications. It's crazy. It's crazy. Crazy for loving you. So. Oh gosh, you got top chat on instead of live chat. I hate the white There we go. Live chat. I hope I didn't miss anybody. Oh, much love to you, Redmond. Thank you ever so much for coming in, honey. It was so wonderful of having you stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Thank you ever so much. Bye. I keep checking my... I'll, I'll keep posting... I'll actually... What I'll do is I'll make a drone playlist. So if anybody wants to check out my drone playlist. Oh, that's okay, Hellcat, and I understand. Islands are fun. Hi, honey. How are you? Thank you for stopping by. Everybody, please check out Islands of Fun. They are fun, true, truly fun. Um, please check them out. Um, 
I managed to fly my drone. Yes! I managed to fly my drone. I'm so excited. I really am excited that I managed to do it. I, I flew it for, for, for more than five minutes, just over five minutes. So I'm, I'm so excited. I mean, I'm like, yes, it's <laughs> And the footage is actually towards the beginning of the live stream. I think, I think Gray said it was like 20 minutes in. Texas Live, thank you ever so much. Thank you so much for stopping in. It's always a pleasure to see you, honey. Thank you. Your son has, only Clay, your son has a drone and never plays with it? Oh my gosh, you kidding me? It is just so much, oh, I have real, I've had so much fun over the past couple of days. Texas Life, Julie, thank you, honey. You take care, sweetie. I mean, I've really enjoyed, I mean, it's been so much fun. I've always, I've wanted one. I've watched, I've watched videos of people flying drones and I'm like, oh, that looks like so much fun. And I won this one. I won this in a competition. Um, and I'm not sure if he's still doing it. I didn't have the link ready, but if you check out Rebel State Sovereign on his channel, he might still be doing the drone giveaways. Um, but it's, I'm like, because, you know, yes, it's so much fun. Your son won't let you play with it? Well, that's not nice, considering he's not playing with it himself. Oh, we came in just in time. The rain is really coming down out there now. Yes, we came in. We, we got to play outside a little bit, sit in the grass a little bit, get our pants wet. Thank God I didn't get my bottom wet. I got the bottom of my pants wet, though. Only Claire. Oh, my gosh. I would be sneaking it out and having a go. Yeah, definitely sneak it out and have a go. Let me know if you're going to sneak it out and have a go. I'll back you up. I'll stand right behind you, only Claire, right behind you. It's a shame if they have one, they don't play with it. That could be taken the wrong way, can't it? Talking about a drone, people, a drone. And a good metal detector, and he used it once. Never you. Only Claire. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's something that my husband. My husband got a metal detector, cause he lost his keys in the snow. Luckily, he found his keys thanks to the metal detector, but it's never been out since. So that's something that we're going to try and do. You know, once this bad weather spell is over and done with. We're going to go try and do some metal detecting around. Um, I would like to go one Saturday or Sunday. Boomer Rock! Hey, hey, hey! Boomer, honey, I flew the drone. I flew it for five minutes. I really, I was so, so much fun. Oh! Yeah, that is so true. That is so true, only Claire. When they get things in the head, that's what they would. Yep. And and there's no steering them the in another direction. It's it's just that's it, and that's what they want to do. Um, maybe if you kind of like put it in front of his vision a few times, and you know, set it beeping, maybe that'll get him a bit more excited into it again. Um, don't get them too overexcited though, because I know, I know how they are when they get overexcited. Yes, you should. Graze fire up your old gold gold dredge again. 
it would be fun oh that would they would make some cool live streams Grizz, if you they would make cool live streams that would make a cool live stream yes boomer i flew it that's okay honey it's in the beginning of the live stream so and i flew it for about five minutes um it, it kind of skimmed over the top of our neighbors really nice truck didn't hit it didn't scrape it you just kind of like flew right over the top oh my gosh oh gris says where i run the dredge there is no phone service oh, that's not nice well i guess you'll just have to film it gris you'll just have to film it and then a couple of times it, it drifted toward into the road and there was cars coming so i managed to pull it back in um exactly he could still record it and make a video yes i want to go back out again sometime oh no definitely don't show the location grace no especially if it um you know shows uh any um okay all right so it's, it never shows any kind of emotion okay oh it's pretty hard you're lucky if you get it okay okay all right y'all okay okay because i know with some autistics they they get they can get when they they get so overstimulated or overexcited it can kind of get a little bit out of control that's why i said don't get them too excited um and i, I know a lot of them don't don't show any emotion whatsoever so i'm i'm sorry that you know i'm sorry honey yeah he's the other way just absolutely no emotion whatsoever that's tough that's really not easy that's tough and when they're so closed off like that so my dog's got a treat that's why she's she's barking you need a new wet suit you <laughs> grace says he outgrew the old one I think you mean sideways or front ways. The zip doesn't quite go up to where it should do. Right, Grace. I need to get my. I've got waders. I've got waders. They're actually boys' waders. Because adult waders, you know, I kind of pull them up like this, and I was, I was looking out, out. <laughs> Uh, they didn't go up to my armpits they went up to my nose so I have a pair of boys uh, waders down there i need to to get out the legs in the wetsuit got longer <laughs> and the waist got narrower yeah right <laughs> grace that's so funny oh well yeah the, even even the boys even the boys what the the you know waders that i have you know it has the strap over i mean the the bib i mean it i need to what i need to do is i need to cut the legs where it attaches to the the boots and use rubber cement to glue it to back to i need to cut it to shorten the legs because they kind of like crink you know they crease up more yeah i have it as tight as i can the straps over the shoulder and it comes up here but it's still kind of like well i guess it'll cover up my belly it'll cover it'll hide my belly hide the fact that i got belly so uh. 
you're out to bag a Santa or a deer for Christmas. There ain't no way Santa's going to bring anything. <laughs> I think you mean a reindeer there. Yeah, I think he meant he's out to bag a reindeer. <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> oh. Well, that is true only, Claire. I won't get wet. I won't get wet, but it does make it a little bit, you know, awkward. Um, Because as I'm walking, you know, the legs go and, and, and catch together. So, But that's okay. I can still do it. Um... That is something that, you know, I, I would like to do with a drone. Of course, I'm being daring right here. I would like to walk up the creek a little bit and um, take, you know, a drone up the creek. Um, I do have a, a dry thingy for my phone. Grace says, I'm going to set up a tree stand overlooking my house for Christmas Eve and put an end to Christmas once and for all and a belly full of venison too. Oh my gosh, Grace. <laughs> oh dear, you're just too funny. I have a... Um... Well, that poo poo's that, doesn't it? sure I put it over there but anyway I have a dry pouch for my phone and it really does work it does keep the phone dry so that you know when I'll take the phone down when I go for the walk along the creek um <laughs> Chris says if I'm successful it'll be famous oh my goodness yeah, it will be known as the man who killed Christmas. Shut down the reindeer. That's just too funny. Okay, everyone, I think I'm going to... <laughs> oh, Chris, you're just too much. You're just too much. Grace says, if I'm, if I'm successful, my name will be spoken in reverence throughout the land with awe. <laughs> oh, my gosh, Grace, you're just too much. You know that? I know I love you, honey. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, I'm going to say... Bye. You can never kill the spirit of Christmas. That is so true, Boomer. There's the spirit of Christmas past, the spirit of Christmas present, and the spirit of Christmas. And Grace says no, but I can try. <laughs> oh my gosh. Grace, you're just hilarious. You're just too funny. Okay, folks, I've been on here three hours and 15 minutes and 17 seconds and counting. So I'm going to say, I'll be the same. Uh. <laughs> Boomer says, but I would be happy to join you in a nice venison dinner. Oh, my goodness. You boys. What am I going to do with you? Okay, so, <clears throat> as you can tell, my voice is a little bit scratchy. I need some more tea. 
So I'm going to say good good evening because I'm not it's not night time yet. I'm going to say good evening. Thank you all for joining me in this venture. Um, there will be more adventures with the drone. I think I'm going to make its own playlist. So if anybody wants to, they can you know watch the playlist. Um, I'm going to try take snippets of the drone escapades from the live streams and put them into a little video note the word try and why are my glasses off to cock i know my ears are not that are not that that out of um whack on my head um oh i have to take these off anyway hurt my eyes and the hurt in my nose grace says he's going alive in about half an hour oh cool cool i'm gonna put thanks grace <clears throat> all right i got your channel up babe i got your channel up Remember, be kind, be thoughtful, caring, and considerate to each other. No matter how much. Oh, Mucker, you missed it all. I was just about to sign off, honey. You can go. I, I flew the drone. I flew it. Yes, I flew it. Oh, I was oh, so excited. I'm still so excited. I flew the drone. Yeah, yes. <coughs> <laughs> Boomer said, how long is 30 minutes in Eastern Standard Time? <coughs> oh my gosh, your sense of humor is just, uh, just cracks me up. All right, thanks, old mucker. It's within the first, it's in the beginning of the live stream. So <clears throat> about 15 minutes in, I think. Um... And I flew it for about five minutes. Oh my gosh. And it nearly it skimmed over the top of the neighbor's car. It flew out into the road when there was cars coming. But it still, oh my God, it was so much fun. It was, it was so cool. All right. <clears throat> and I'm jumping around and I'm screaming and laughing. And the neighbors are watching me. And my husband sticks his head out and he says, what's all this noise going on? Well, I, I, I flew the drone. He missed it. <clears throat> the story of Dory. Hi, honey. Thank you for stopping in. I'm about to close the stream up. But, uh, Grace270 is going to go live in about 30 minutes. Oh, old mucker. It was, it was, a, oh, it was so much fun. I just had so much fun. I really am now going to go buy some backup batteries so that I can practice longer than five minutes. And of course, you know, it's a good thing I'm dyslexic because the thing was flying ass backwards. So, <laughs> it, it, you know, when I'm hitting the um, backwards thing it was going forwards and when I was hitting the forwards thing it was going backwards luckily I'm dyslexic so I figured out the controls pretty quickly because left wasn't left and right wasn't right it was and then I realized it was flying ass backwards it was going flying this way instead of flying of course this way so next time I'll have to make sure that I set it off at least you could say well that's not at least that's at the most that that means a lot the story of dory that you've actually managed to stop in and say hello honey thank you so much <clears throat> so next time i get it flying i'll have to remember to make sure when i set it up when it goes up that i'll have the um camera facing towards me and uh, soon i hope that we'll be able to have footage of the 
of the flight itself through the camera. But well, I'll have to figure that one out. So, but remember, be kind, considerate, caring and thoughtful towards each other. And no matter how you meet each other, how you know each other, it's important. Pain and suffering is pain and suffering. When you look somebody in the eye, make sure you can say, I see you. Because that person just might be you one day and you might not like it. Remember, we, I, can do this. Keep saying that to yourself. I won't get there, yes! This Birmingham grates, oh honey. It is so good to see you. I've been thinking about you a lot recently. I'm, I need to get in touch with you. I need to, we need to catch up. Um, I'm just closing up. Um, a boomer says maybe the batteries in the, <laughs> in the controller were backwards. Um, <clears throat> I did manage to get the Bama grits. I did manage to get the drone off off the ground and actually flying I flew it for five minutes oh I was so excited okay I'll email you from your channel I will do Bama Grits thank you so much honey um oh oh my gosh let me tell you it was just so much fun it's at the beginning of the live stream so you don't have to suffer the whole three hours of the live stream. Um, <clears throat> the neighbours thought I was nuts. It nearly hit the neighbor. Well, it skimmed over the top of the neighbour's nice truck. It flew into the... Well, it kind of drifted into the... Um, <laughs> into the road a couple of times and there was cars coming. Oh, it was... It, it was just it was just so much fun it really was so I'm gonna I'm gonna get I'm gonna back I'm gonna get some more batteries for it so I've always got some charged batteries on standby so I love you all please take care watch out for each other because you're all very important each one of you and if, if nobody tells you trust me you are important you're you're very important in, in 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 so many ways so please take care i love you all and thank you so much for joining in we'll have fun again another day i promise you bye